in. Hello. This asteroid came very close to the Earth, and I used the opportunity to take some picture of it. And I used this telescope, the 24 inch, and we can take a look at an animation I made of the asteroid. Yes. We can we can see the asteroid running fast. I can adjust contrast and brightness here using this. I can also look at the negative if I want to. Maybe it's easier to see. Okay. I can... Uh, yeah. And this is the... This is the asteroid from the JPL small body database. And of course, we can play with the orbit also. Here it is. Can uh, zoom, and we can start an animation. You see that this is the asteroid, the planet Earth, Venus, and Mercury. Can zoom in. Here are the controls for zoom and others. I can turn off the planet label. And zoom in. Yes, this is a nice tool to play with. And of course, we can see the asteroid's orbit going all the way almost to the planet Jupiter. Okay, and we can uh, we can go back to this one. Yeah, this is the fast fast running asteroid. Cancel it, and I can show how we do astrometry. I can. Open one picture, take the first one, oh, I just have to adjust contrast and range properly, so we can see, yes, and I have to insert coordinates of all the reference stars and I do that with uh, insert astrometry hopefully this is going well yes now I have a link to the sky six and it looks like that so I have this here is the asteroid so I, I want to find the position of the asteroid so I put the cross on the asteroid and hopefully he'll calculate 
position and magnitude. Ah, magnitude seemed to be a bit wrong. But anyway, I added to my, I added to the observation list and save it. Okay. You can take a look at oh yeah. how 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 the observing list looks when I finished. We can see that this is the standard report form and we can see that here we have design number, time, vector ascension, declination and uh, magnitude. And we see that the magnitude is the magnitude is fourteen, very close to fourteen. Okay. Thanks for your time.